Yesterday we had started around 5.15. Uh, we booked a Grab taxi, which is the cheapest mode of transport in Kuala Lumpur. We paid about uh, uh, five ringgits to reach from our hotel to Central Market. It was a comfortable journey and the drivers uh, who own Grab, or who, who drive Grab are excellent. So we reached Central Market, uh, saw Central Market uh, a little bit. Uh, but uh, as I told you earlier, uh, I did I did not shop for anything. But uh, yes, uh, we ate the fried wonton, had the cold drinks, then went to Kasturi Walk, which is a joining Central Market. Uh, ate uh, the samosa, which was filled with chicken and uh, potatoes with uh, curry powder flavor. And then we went to the Petalin Street, the Chinatown. Uh, it was too crowded. Uh, there is plenty to shop uh, because uh, they sell a lot of items. Uh, around 10 rigets, which is about 160 rupees or even less and you get plenty of food to eat. Uh, we got uh, chestnuts from there, roasted chest chestnuts, uh, plenty of food stalls, uh, the restaurants but uh, we thought it's too crowded and warm uh, for our dinner today. So we came back to Central Market and we have come to this restaurant called Fresh Hairs. It's a lovely restaurant. Just have a look at the decor here. It is the old uh, charm. Uh, and they serve uh, Baba Nilumia or Paranak in Cuisine, which I wanted to try. Uh, Paranak in cuisine is uh, nothing alien to uh, Indian palate. Uh, they use a lot of spices, uh, they use a lot of exciting ingredients which we don't have in India and uh, that is what we wanted to try. So what we have ordered today is a Nornia Balakan fried rice, Hokkien noodles, I think uh, it is called Cooking fried noodle, uh, that is what, what is written in the menu, and a plate of fried chicken. Let's see how the meal is. Uh, if it's good, probably we again come and visit this place because the ambience of this place is really good. So let's wait for the food. So I'm going to try the Nyonia Belakin fried rice. So I have got some uh, spiced uh, rice. I, I don't know what are the spices, but uh, there are some spring onions and chives there. There are two pieces of fried chicken. And they said Indian crackers, but this is uh, Indian papad, which is cut into strips and fried. And uh, there is a salad of carrot and probably uh, I think it's green mango or papaya. So let me just taste the fried rice. Mm. There is taste of seafood again. I think it is uh, crushed, crushed anchovies or dried shrimp, but uh, there is a distinct flavor of uh, now the, the seafood here. Let me also just take a bite of the fried chicken. Mm. Mildly spiced, but very well done. This is fantastic fried chicken. This is very different from Chinese. The food may look uh, Chinese, but the flavors are entirely different. So, now let me try the Hawking fried noodles. In the Hawking fried noodles, uh, I think they have given a red uh, uh, sambal or curry paste, couple of uh, pieces of cucumber, 
we can see a prawn which is uh, prawn which is quite huge it's fried i think there is uh, some chicken or egg and the noodles which is fried so let me take a just a small bite of these noodles and see how it is it's piping hot i think i'm going to use uh, my fork here because it's little oily and it's slippery and they give us metal uh, chopsticks mm. and again among soy there is something which gives a distinct taste for this i'm going to take a small piece of chicken dip it in this uh, sambal and try it Maybe this has got a strong seafood flavor, so uh, entirely different, entirely different taste bursting in the mouth. The third dish which we have ordered is the fried chicken. So you can see uh, the fried chicken which is here. So there are uh, bite-sized piece of pieces, but uh, these are quite nice. And there is a sauce along with this. There is little bit of lettuce and uh, the salad. So this itself uh, can be a nice dish uh, with the rice or with the noodles. So we are straight away going to dig into the food. While sitting on the dining table, I saw this nice contraption, which has got these three pink buttons. One is called call. The other one is called water. and the third one you press for the bill so you don't have to uh, look for the waiter's attention or wave at the waiter uh, because this is a large dining area if you want to call the waiter for something simply press the call button if you want water press the water and if you want to check for the bill you simply press the bill so i press the bill and uh, i have my bill here so it's so easy and a convenient feature which i think the restaurants in india can adopt ritu didn't like the food very much uh, because it had uh, i think too strong a seafood flavor uh, it was bit too oily for a taste uh, so uh, when you come to malaysia uh, try small quantities and, uh, if you want to play it safe uh, you can order uh, nasi goreng or mee goreng uh, which are kind of neutral and uh fairly to our palate if you like today's video give it a thumbs up and also if you have not subscribed uh, please click on the subscription button and click on the bell button so that you get all the notification whenever we upload a new video